Hey guys, Trace here for D News. I'm at CES 2014. We're at the Toyota booth, and this is Toyota's FCV or fuel cell vehicle. A fuel cell is a hydrogen fuel cell. It's using the same energy as the sun, and they actually take a whole bunch of them and stack them together in the bottom of this car. So environmentally friendly and efficient sounds pretty awesome. Annie talked to one of the engineers on the project earlier today about the range and what they're being used for already. We're here with Jared Farnsworth, Senior Engineer for Toyota Fuel Cell Group. Jared, thank you for joining us. And you are you have worked to build this um, vehicle, which is the first Toyota car to be brought to market in 2015 that is powered by fuel cells. Um, can you explain to people how exactly that works? Mm -hmm. So a fuel cell is an electrochemical device mm -hmm. that uses oxygen from the air and then hydrogen that we store in tanks on the vehicle to generate electricity. And the only byproduct is water, so it's a zero emission electric vehicle. How does that differ from um, the more traditional hybrids that we see on the market currently? Mm -hmm. So if you think of like a Prius, where you have a regular battery and then a gasoline motor, in this case you remove the gasoline motor, put in a fuel cell, and you have a fuel cell hybrid. So it's similar, but it's a zero emission electric vehicle. What are some other advantages to this technology over hybrids, for example? I guess one advantage as an electric vehicle is this, um, this vehicle, you can fuel it in three to five minutes, and you fuel it similar to what you would with your normal car, but you can have 300 mile range. So yeah. for the consumer, it's just like driving their normal car and then fueling it like they would their normal car. So it's kind of a no compromise solution. I understand that you've actually gone out and tested this car on the road in the United States and in North America. What, what was that like? <laughs> it's a very interesting experience because it's new technology and we're developing the technology. So there's always new challenges and new problems that we need to overcome. And that gives us a good opportunity to even just understand the technology intuitively itself. So, um, you know, there are times where we go to Death Valley where it's 126 degrees or to go to uh, Yellowknife, Canada where it's minus 40 degrees. So it, it's really interesting. A lot of things happen and it's a lot of fun. So this is projected to come to market in 2015, which is really not all that far away. Yeah. What have been some of the challenges to bring it to market? Mm -hmm. Some of the big challenges are durability. So our target is um, 10 years or 100,000 miles for durability for this car. And that's, that's a big challenge with this technology, but we're meeting that target. And others are to achieve the range that we just ta talked about, 300 miles, and then being able to operate at very cold temperatures, because the fuel cell produces water, as I mentioned. And so at night, that water can freeze. So we need to be able to thaw the fuel cell to thaw itself out and start up and then operate normally. And that, that was one big challenge that we we're able to meet. So I know the prospect of zero emissions vehicles are really, is really exciting to a lot of people. Do you see this as a scalable technology that could be applied elsewhere in the future? And if so, where do you see it being used? Yeah, actually it's already being used in um, buses. Um, public transportation. So um, in 2016, I believe, we're looking at coming out with a uh, bus. So it can be used for public transport. So you have a zero emission option. Very exciting. Thank you so much for talking to us, Jared. Thank you. We'd like to thank Toyota for bringing us out here today to check out this awesome fuel cell vehicle. What do you think of hydrogen fuel cells? Are they the future? Let us know down in the comments, and we'll see you next time on D News.